Hey, I'm Dr. Dino Pappas with the Center for Integrated Medicine located in Tinley Park. We provide comprehensive conservative care, that's all treatment without the use of drugs or surgery, to the south and southwest suburbs of Chicago, including services like chiropractic, rehabilitation, acupuncture, massage, functional medicine, and more. Today's uh, video blog is going to be on the scapula, that's the shoulder blade and shoulder blade muscles. I've received a couple emails, text messages, and phone calls regarding some of the exercises that we utilize for scapula, that shoulder blade stabilization. So this video blog is an attempt to kind of answer those questions and help you work through some of the solutions that have worked best for us and for our patients as well. A quick little review, the shoulder blade muscles that are of, of importance with these exercises is this muscle right through here in the middle and lower trapezius and this muscle down through here which is not pictured called the serratus, the serratus anterior. These muscles are, are responsible for stability, number one, stability of the shoulder blade. That's getting the shoulder blade flush up against the rib cage. When you have that stability, the shoulder blade and the neck functions with greater capacity, the ability to lift more, the ability to hold your arm overhead more, and basically just a little more efficiency of movement and control over motion is important. The first exercise that I'm going to demonstrate is called a wall push exercise. This is an isometric exercise, meaning the muscle is not moving over a range of motion. It is locked into a static steady position. We're going to do this at zero degrees, that's facing forward, at 45 degrees, just a little bit of an angle into the scapular plane, and at 90 degrees. The reason why is the multiple angles of movement or control over movement are essential for the shoulder joint and for the scapula. I'm going to demonstrate, we're going to get a forward view and we're going to get a side view with some of these. We're talking about the scapula, we're talking about 90 degrees, loading this in the lateral plane right through here. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the head and neck, we're going to retract it just to neutral. Again, bring this back just to neutral so the head is over the torso. Then I want you to picture a string pulling the head vertical to the ceiling so these muscles in the shoulder and shoulder blade relax. Kind of take a deep breath in, blow it all the way out, and as we do that, we're going to take our opposite arm, going to grab onto the shoulder blade and pull the shoulder blade flush with the rib cage and the torso. Again, lock that shoulder blade in place. As we do that, we're going to put pressure, pressure into the wall. As we do that, the wall is going to put pressure back into us, loading the shoulder shoulder blade complex. Again, head and neck goes to neutral, string pulling it towards the ceiling, deep breath in, lock the shoulder blade, breathe out, load the shoulder. Repeat, head and neck goes to neutral, Deep breath in, lock the shoulder blade, load it. Let's get a view from the back. Again, grab onto the shoulder blade, head goes to neutral. Deep breath in, load the shoulder blade. Now 45 degrees, so we're going to rotate our torso about 45 degrees. Same thing, head goes to neutral, deep breath in, Lock the shoulder blade with the hand, load it into the wall. Let's get a view from the back if you can. Again, I'm at 45 degrees, locking the shoulder blade, head to neutral, deep breath in, pushing into the wall. And at zero degrees, which means I'm facing directly forward, head goes to neutral, deep breath in, locking the shoulder blade up against the rib cage, loading it, putting pressure into the wall. How many repetitions should you perform? I usually recommend 10 to 15 repetitions doing correct form at 0 degrees, 45 degrees, and approximately about 90 degrees. And what you'll find is the muscles start to fatigue as you get towards the end repetitions, especially towards that 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th repetition, somewhere in that ballpark. The Center for Integrated Medicine, this is one of the exercises we use for shoulder blade stability. We believe in the philosophy of why put off feeling good.